Hey everybody, this is Dave Bensman with Bensman Home Computer Repair and today I'd like to talk about what to do if all of a sudden your keyboard isn't typing anything. Uh, there are lots of different configurations so we're going to first cover what happens if your desktop USB keyboard isn't typing. Well the first thing you're going to want to do is unplug the keyboard from the computer and plug it back in. See if it types. The second thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to reboot your computer and see if it types then. If it doesn't type then, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the Windows Start button down here on the left and you're going to want to scroll all the way down until you see Windows System right there. You're going to want to click on that and then you're going to want to click where it says Command Prompt. This will open a Command Prompt here and what you're going to want to do is type something and see if you see anything. If you see typing there, but you don't see typing, let's say you're on the internet or something like that, then there may be a problem with your browser. Uh, but if you see typing here, that means your computer is registering um, that it you, that your keyboard is connected and it is working properly, at least in terms of your operating system. Another good way to test your keyboard is to click on the Windows Start button and then scroll all the way down to where it says uh, Windows Accessories and then click where it says uh, Notepad right there. And if you click in there and then you type around, uh, your, if your uh, keyboard is at all communicating with your computer, it should be able to type in Notepad. Now it might not be able to type in another more complex application, but it should be able to type in Notepad. So if it is typing in Notepad and not some sort of other application, it's probably the other application. But if it's not typing in Notepad and it's not typing in a command prompt, then you may have a bad keyboard, especially if you've unplugged it and plugged it back in and rebooted the computer. Uh, and at that point, you may want to get a known good keyboard, plug it into your computer and see if it works. At that point, it probably will. Uh, what you probably had was a bad keyboard. Uh, you could also go to this PC right here, right click and go to properties. Then you could go to device manager and left click on that. And then you could look for your keyboard. You could use a, a left click uh, to highlight HID keyboard device, then left click on action, then left click on uninstall uh, device. And then when you do that, it's going to ask you if you want to uninstall it and you say yes. And then after you do that, then you're going to highlight your computer's name by left clicking on that. Then you're going to go to action and then you're going to go to scan for hardware changes and it should reinstall your keyboard and if it's a driver that will probably take care of it if you're using a wireless keyboard and you are uh, on a desktop or a laptop um, you do definitely want to check to make sure you're not out of batteries make sure that the uh, wireless keyboard is switched to on and make sure that your wireless keyboard is paired with the wireless keyboard uh, dongle that's plugged into your USB port. After that, the troubleshooting is pretty much the same. Try typing in uh, notepad command prompt, uh, uninstall and reinstall the driver and see if that does not fix it. If, if none of those things fix it, then it's probably a bad keyboard. Now, if you're on a laptop and you're using the uh, the internal keyboard, like the keyboard that's actually attached to the laptop, then um, obviously the only thing you can do is uninstall and reinstall the driver and try and type to uh, Notepad or Command Prompt. If you can't type to Notepad or Command Prompt and uninstalling and reinstalling the driver, doesn't work then you may have a bad keyboard the other thing is you get a known good keyboard and plug it into that laptop and see if you can type and see if that'll help um, that's basically how you test for a non-responsive keyboard uh, if you have any questions uh, or you need any computer help and you're in the Memphis Germantown Midtown Collierville Bartlett 
uh, or Cordova area, uh, please feel free to give me Dave Bensman a ring at 901-830-4362 and stay safe.